It's not that, my lord. A group of bandits is terrorizing Komoda. They slaughtered my whole family like animals. Then I'll hunt them down like animals. Where do they kill your family? At our home, north of here, on the river. I'll pick up the bandits' trail there. What's your name? Saki, my lord. I will avenge your family, Saki. Are you hunting for Shigenori's heavenly strike as well, my lord? Hmm. That technique is only one of myth. The musician Yamado insists the myth is real. I'm not surprised. People often speak of his stories with excitement. I heard the tale near Komatsu Forge. If it's as powerful as the story claims, let's hope you never face the technique in battle. Saki mentioned that he hoped to save Lord Shimura. Must be Saki's home. Should check inside. He tried to fight back. Killed in cold blood. 
A map marking this location. What's it say? And then we can finally be together. This was no random attack. Nothing else here. I should check outside. Died trying to protect his family. A lot of men here. Headed for the road. I heard the old Ketchi farm was freed. Thought I'd bring them horses and medicine. Bunch of bandits found me first. Took everything. Any idea where they were headed? They mentioned Komoda village. Whatever's left of it. I'll head there. Can you walk? Ketchi isn't far. I think so. Find those bastards. They thought this was funny. Komoda village. The bandits could be here. Are you cowards? Imagine you killed your whole family to be with the man. Imagine you killed your whole family to be with the man you love. Been him. My lord, will you let me go? If you tell me the truth, what were these men laughing at? Some poor girl. She was in love with Haruo. He was in charge. She told him where her family hid their rice. Was her name Saki? Yes, Saki. She thought Haruo would return her affection. Instead, he killed her family, took the rice, 
and left her in the ditch. And I was the instrument of her revenge. Get out of here! I'm going to have a word with Saki. What's going on here? It's a strange tragedy, my lord. Where is Saki? Okay. She drowned herself in the river. From what I understand, she blamed herself for the death of her family. She was manipulated by the bandits you met on the road. They won't do any more harm. Thank you, my lord. Perhaps some good will come of this. I saw a flock of birds circling in the sky, my lord. I went to see where they were, and found the most beautiful place. I sat and stared, lost track of time. We all need inspiration these days. During times of conflict, warriors would visit such places and write haiku. I heard the art of haiku prepares the mind and body for battle. Is it true, my lord? It is. But you don't have to be a warrior to benefit from poetry. killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts. Shigenori, the fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima. Shigenori never lost a duel with years of practice. 
he had created the heavenly strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. That's the bridge the musician mentioned. Someone weeping. Where? My lord, so many is slaughtered. Did you see the man who killed him? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikoa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Horse tracks. Yasuhira was in a hurry. What more do you know of Yasuhira Koga? Only the that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved, and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Sushi, but when the Mongols attacked, he returned. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. Up ahead, they're constructing a roadblock. Wait. 
Четырьму самрать тут как. Pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they argued. Only made out one word. Chigenori. I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come. Never liked that homo. Knew she was no good. But the sense of kills her. What has Yasuhira been doing? White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tail. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. A dueling ring. He's looking for it. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. Need to find white-leafed trees. Suhira must have gathered leaves from here.
secrets buried deep. Shifting shadows back and forth. Guided by night's glow. Stop! I told him everything I know! Sonor Serum's day. Dear you, Giosa. To let it go. Negium Harsinta! a man named Yasuhiro with these Mongols. Mm. He wanted to learn the heavenly strike from my grandfather and took him away. Your grandfather's in danger. Where did they go? His old training ground. A dueling ring on the Komatsu coast. Please, <laughs> save him. Yasuhira cannot learn the heavenly strike. down in order to cross. Yasuhira brought Mongols with him. I'm 
Marcinta. ¡Del carbacho es del mundo va a estar la mano! Must be Shigenori's dueling ring. What has Yasuhiro been doing? Poor man. Killed by Yasuhiro. Blade has seen many duels. Footprints. Still fresh. Yasuhiro Koga. The butcher of the rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yorikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. Waiting for boy. Not waiting. Studying. Learning. Save you. You deserve greater respect than this. I promise I'll use Shigenori's technique to protect Tsushima against all who would harm it.
was never there. An archer of his skill could have helped me with the war. A great bow is a work of art, my lord. Death from afar. Farewell. Have you seen me? Until next time, I'm so sure she will be. The one who makes everyone who's her mind itself. You seem troubled. What's wrong? I saw a terrible battle near Kuta Farmstead. Bandits and Mongols slaughtering each other. Normally I'd let them tear into each other all they want. But the violence may put others in danger. Keep away from there. I'll have a look. She was alive to see this. If your blades need work, let me be of use. Apologies. You don't have what we need to do the work. Balanced, sharp, and deadly. Your sword arm protects us all, my lord. Lord Sakai, come quickly. Permit me to refine your armor, my lord. These are dark times, my lord. It would be wise for you to seek aid from Kami. Their shrines lie beyond the Toriyi gates. Sometimes I wonder if they hear our prayers. They're always listening and watching. If you persist in your efforts, they will answer. Thank you. I'll keep trying. The Ghost Samurai and our greatest archer are fighting back. All is not lost. Seem lost in thought. Is everything all right? There's so much to fear right now, my lord. But there are still places of beauty to remind us what truly matters. Even the birds know it. I followed a flock to a place that filled me with peace. I used to write haiku in places like that. There was no better place to center my mind and body before battle. I hope you'll find peace again soon, Lord Sakai. I work metals, woods, and cloth.
worthy of a samurai. I'll see you again. Until we next meet. for a great bow. A bow without equal. Your bow will tell you. Sakai. Any news of Tomoe? Travelers have been shot dead on the roads in and out of Hiyoshi Springs. People are afraid to leave or deliver supplies. You think that's our doing? Hmm. A few archers at strategic points can isolate a whole town. A tactic of yours when you were Clan Nagao's archery master. Tomoe was a good student. Too good. We're fighting your own reflection. We will turn that to our advantage. Come. How do you propose we find these archers? We think like Tomoe. We want to control movement in and out of Hiyoshi Springs. Where do we put archers? A handful of men could shut down the road to the coast. Yes. It would be smart to control the main entrance into town. Mm, people already avoid the main road. Archers there would be wasted. I would want someone looking over the bridge into town. So would I. That path behind the inn. No. Poor cover, no clear lines of sight. You want to cover the largest territory with the fewest archers. The road south runs along a high ridge. Perfect place to rain down arrows. Tomoe would agree. There's hope for you. Let's go hunting. What else did you teach Tomoe? I held back nothing. Including why you left Clan Nago? That's no secret. It was time to retire, and the hot spring suited me. You would never willingly retire. I see. Well, what's your approach? My uncle said you became close to a commoner, and Lord Nago was forced to cover it up. <laughs> your uncle has an interesting sense of humor. You weren't forced out? The samurai always has a choice. But do you regret giving up a warrior's life? Mastery of the bow is mastery of oneself. That is the only victory. We're getting close. Eyes open. Hard, hard way. No, me. 
Tomoya wasn't here. Keep moving. All those innocent, dead. Tomoya has thrown everything away. Betrayed her people. The Mongols know how to divide and conquer. They turned one of my oldest friends against me. The weak in spirit desire wealth, power, and status. That makes them easy to turn. Weak or not, Tomoya and Yuzo knew they were born with less than they deserved. Now you're being too kind. Kindness can be useful, even to a warrior. Who told you that? Sun Tzu? My uncle. And he didn't tell me. He showed me. Mercy creates a debt. Your uncle showed mercy to people who pose no danger to him. A safe bet. <laughs> Quickly, Kage! How did Tomoe become your student? She showed up at my dojo with her father's makeshift hunting bow and refused to leave. You didn't turn her away. I tried, but she sank arrow after arrow into my targets. I've never seen talent like hers. She must have had training. Her form was wrong. It would have been useless in a real fight. She had no fear of missing a shot. She never hesitated. A warrior's spirit. No. Killers. I didn't see until it was too late. Ishikawa. You know the name Ishikawa? I do. I have message. Speak. Sensei, all of Hiyoshi Springs will beg for mercy, like the victims of Hironori now. Silence! <laughs> Hironori Nagao. Didn't he die fighting bandits? It was decades ago. He was reputed to be a great archer. 
Did he study with you? No. Tomoe is spreading lies. But there's a seed of truth. She wants us to doubt each other. We are all that stands between Hiyoshi Springs and a bloodbath. Then we stand together. Hmm. We'll plan the town's defense at my dojo. Meet me there and be ready to fight. Sakai. We must deal with Tomoe's threat against Yoshi Springs before it's too late. I don't understand a fixation on the town. I was born there. Destroying it proves her worth to the Mongols. ...and humiliates me. But the terrain works in our favor. Two skilled archers can hold off hundreds. Or... ...we allow the Mongols to take it. Domoe wins a victory... ...and lets her guard down. Then we strike. Sacrifice Hiyoshi Springs for Tomoe. The sacrifice is worth it! Tomoe would agree, Sensei. Fine, Sakai. If she will attack from the north, we should focus our efforts there. Scout elevated positions, place arrows, and... Listen! Did you hear that? One arrow, one death. was to kill us, she would have sent more men. Or the point was not to kill, but to delay. Here she springs. The attack is starting. This way. If I fall today, promise me you will keep hunting Tomoe. The Mongols are my priority, not her. She fights for more than power and territory, Sakai. Tomoe's actions attack what it means to be samurai. What she does is no reflection on me. I will meet my duty as a warrior. She knows you're my student. Your death will destroy my legacy. Your way of the bow will survive with me. Where will Tomoe strike? In the back town, near the waterfalls. The most vulnerable point. You two, come here. What is it, my lords? 
Mongols are heading for Hyoshi Springs. Gather everyone at the inn and stay out of sight. We will deal with them. Yes, my lords. Good sight lines over here. The Mongols won't be able to flank us. We don't have much time. What can we use to our advantage? Not many options. You'll exploit the ones we have. Hornet's nests. Excellent distraction. Those barrels could do some damage. Dry grass. Lure the Mongols in. We'll make sure you have flaming arrows. Take these flaming arrows. And try not to burn yourself or me. Then don't get in my way, Sensei. Get ready. The Mongols will be here soon. They're getting closer. Good. Let's demonstrate the way of the bow for them. They're coming downhill. Take them. One arrow, one death, Sensei. the main road. I've got them. There she is. That's Tomoe? Burning the Nagao banner. We can catch her. Oh, she'll be long gone by the time we get there. She's a coward. No. She's mocking me. She knows the last student I trained before her was Hironori Nagao. You said he wasn't your student. Which is it? I was young, prideful, callous. Hironori learned from my example. He led a rebellion to seize the clan and lost, but only after butchering Lord Nagao's best men. Hironori didn't die fighting bandits. 
That was a story to protect Nagaro's legacy. There was no saving mine. As his teacher, I could never be trusted again. I was granted the mercy to resign my position. I convinced myself the way of the bow had to survive. But the truth is, I am a coward who should have ended it long ago. You told Tomoya all of this. I wanted her to understand what it meant for me to teach again. And like everything else, she turned it against me. You'll never redeem Hironori Nago. And you won't change Tomoe. But today, you saved the people of Hiyoshi Springs. With my new student. We need to keep after Tomoe. She has her sights set on Akashima. Look for me there. I heard they thought among themselves. The Chinese weren't enough for them. And by two Arazu, they say the Khan even battled his own brother for power, imprisoned him for years, and poisoned him. Who knows? Something terrible, probably. That camp of survivors, the one outside Umugi Cove, it's cursed. People go missing. The people there are vulnerable. Without a place to call home. Easy prey for criminals. Many of their survivors have lost their families. Loved ones. There's something strange going on. I'll put a stop to it. Please. 
Do you need a swordsmith, my lord? It's a work of art, my lord. Certed to frustrate your enemies. You honor me with your confidence in me. He has disguised himself as a boy. Lady Masako, do you have news of your family's killers? On the list we found, Sada was at the top. He's the head man of Kuta Farmstead. Kuta's people served your clan. Why would he turn against you? Because he is an ungrateful traitor. My husband appointed Sadao as headman, and he repaid that kindness with bloodshed. I learned he fled Kuta the night my family was murdered. He must have heard you survived. Sadao is a deceitful snake, but his brother, Hachi, is a fool. He just passed by the temple carting food for the refugees. He will make an unscheduled delivery to his brother. And we will be there to catch him. We have to go, or we will lose him. After what happened at the inn, I didn't think you'd visit the temple again. I came to watch for Sadao's brother and mourn Clan Adachi's dead. Have you given your family a proper funeral? Not while their killers walk free. After my father died, I said goodbye to him that same night. It helped ease my pain. I buried them. That will have to do. For now. When's the last time you slept? Or ate? I had some rice and fish yesterday. Even the youngest warrior needs a full belly and a rested sword arm. Are you calling me old, Lord Sakai? <laughs> I wouldn't dare. My sword arm works just fine. We should have caught up to Hachi by now. Which way do you think he went? Both roads look traveled. Let's search the area. He can't be far. Masako, look. The man with the cart. That's Hachi, Sada's brother. There it is. All right. He's leaving. And we will follow. Close, but out of sight. Behave yourself, Ringo. Or no carry for you when we're done. Visitors. We can't let them see us. Food, water, other things. Sure. Uh, 
Of course. You were promised that. Not yet, but I have something for your guest. It's a meeting. We'll pass it along. He handed them a note. I'll stop here again at the usual time. We'll meet you there. Forget the wagon. Follow those horses. Fail to deliver, the headman will kill us. So those are family. <laughs> From a bad family. His cousins are bandits. Remember the riots that erupted? When Kuta Farmstead was sold on rights? Yes. Who do you think hired the bandits that slaughtered the protesters? Headman Sadov. The coward. I knew it. Right. So next time I think of the headman, remember the Kuta massacre. Woodcutter's house, guarded by bandits. Sada's cousins. He must be hiding there. We don't know that. But we will soon find out. Corpses can't answer questions. There's someone in the house. I'll make them talk. Let me try first. A note from Sadao. Hachi gave it. I'm not going to hurt you. My name is Sakai. Who are you? Hina, Sada's wife. My husband is innocent. The Mongols killed your family. Where is he? I, I don't know. You're lying. She'll help us. And she can't stay here. I'll take her to my estate. She's going to kill me. No harm will come to you.
Lord Sakai. Lady Masako.